9293. Good morning, you're on Trader Time. Yes, hello, I've got a really beautiful... Can you speak up a little, please? Yes, hello, I've got a really beautiful ball gown. It's peach in color and it's barely been worn and a matching rhinestone tiara. I'm looking to trade them both for a baby stroller in good condition. There are many things that I would trade for you. A tricycle, one handlebar is missing. It reminds me of us. I was obsessed with this radio show when I was a kid called Trader Time. Do you remember? Yeah. Okay. It aired every morning and afternoon, five days a week, for about five or ten minutes, and on Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. for a full and glorious hour. <laughs> and I was a budding storyteller, so it must have been something about the... I was like the 30 or 40 second long window, hey, into the life of someone else. Unless you were born up here, there were only two reasons that anyone ever went north. Only two reasons, she told me, and those were love or money. I'm third generation, so I wouldn't know. As a kid, all of my dreams always only pointed south. How she'd never even seen a hatchet until that very first night in Whitehorse, back in 1949. February, eh? <laughs> She'd say, oh, and shiver when she got to that part of the story. Oh, lover, where have you been? Where did you go when I needed you? She tells me about the dentist, I who lives down in Whiskey Flats. So he gives me a shot of something, and he rubs a bit of something on me gums, and he pulled me tooth like nothing. And I don't know what he gave me, but gold it was lovely. <laughs> I nearly floated out. I was your first of two girls. It was a story that whole spring and summer. You had just been crowned rendezvous queen. The bell of the ball of our winter festival on February 28th and then found out you were pregnant with me. They took back your crown. You were married on March 5th. The sponsors, they couldn't have a pregnant princess. They couldn't have a swelling queen. She told me some of us are given harder roads than others. But she said that hard road always comes with its own gift. So my job was to go out and find out what that gift was and use it, she told me. And that I should always know that I was exactly who God meant me to be. God doesn't make mistakes, she said. None of us are mistakes, she repeated. You were always walking a tight road For most of your life A little kid with a dream of Baby, I know Baby, I know then she looked me right in both eyes. Her papery palms were still cupping my cheeks like that. She said, is that what I should call you? Do I? Do I call you my beautiful grandson? Or my granddaughter? Oh, I never fucking know with you. So raise your head up high. Let your feet lift to the sky. We were made to fight. 
Don't ask why Don't ask why We are fine